Sports. It's in the game. Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to South Florida at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Miami Dolphins. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Dolphins take over in first and 10 at their own 13-yard line. throw right away. Throw caught by Ochoa. And he had this pass the 30 prior to going out of bounds. And even 20 yards and a first down on the game's very first play. They'll run. Here's Devon Achan. Kevin Byard up to make the tackle. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Here's a second and five. Come on, 
Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and three. Throwing his hurts. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. From the gun, it's Hurts. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And Hurd's going to move him around. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. In motion right is Brown. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And they'll hustle up to stop him well shy of the first, right around the 15. The Hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. They'll set up a throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. And the Dolphins are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on for it down. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And their opening drive, that ended with the interception. Fortunate, though, it didn't lead to points. It didn't lead to points, and because they kind of got away with one, maybe you come back and throw something similar again to show that you're not afraid, that you're not going to back down, and take your shot. Let the defense know that you're going to be there all game long. So from the 22, here's second and two. Off of play action, Tonga Bailoa. And got his man complete. Down the sideline he goes. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 78 yards. And the Dolphins use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 7-0. To the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. 
They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Eagles. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking out some responsibility, but he was happy to do so there. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. Hill shedding the tackle. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And a nice game there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter from Miami, it's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a second and four coming up. Let's go. Play action, now it's Tua. Escaping the pressure right. And Tua going to slide to a halt, but he will have the first down. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Now H and on first and ten. There he goes right side. Inside the 20. And he will take it in from Dolphins touchdown. Devon H. 75 yards. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. Well, they have that one snipped out defensively. That's a tough one to connect on when you got multiple defenders in the area and it winds up incomplete. On second down, Swift. And some space here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. But first down, Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. It's caught at the 10. A big play there for Philly. 51 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Flushed out right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Well, this defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. 
but so far, an absolute no total contact. effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. They run out of the gun with Swift, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. Hurts with a quick throw, complete. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Celebrate their goal line stand. Ready. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. Second down in a yard. Here's Tua. A short throw there. That's to Smythe, the tight end. And right around the 20, he'll head out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size? can't really hide him but the tight end drag route definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down and they finally get to him as he's taken down they're going to hurry back to the line now it's a loss of two it brings up Don't seven and twelve at the two of them wants to throw it on second down this swing complete to Jalen Waddle. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And going deep for Hill. I right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Keely Ringo picks it off. So, first thing across my mind is why didn't they just sit on the lead and take it to the locker room? They're in good shape. Absolutely. And from this spot on the field, now you've given the other side a chance for points here going into intermission. Yeah, you changed the momentum of the game. And it's something you did not need to do. So from the 36 now, first and 10. King, Bill, King, Bill. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Eluding the pressure right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. I'm not quite 
sure what he thought he saw there, but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on the flash when he broke out of there, and they forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard. It's tied in over the middle. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts on target to Dallas Goddard. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am going ahead and tapping out the first half. There's still time. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. And Hall, he missed it. No good. And then remain down by a point. there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss Hill is going to take it out of the end zone and he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20 yard line First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And with a one-point lead, you'd have to think they'll be looking just to get this to halftime. He's got a man complete! Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. First down. First down at the 46-yard line. Ready. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. From the gun, it's Tua. This one thrown underneath to HM. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. That's going to be caught downfield by Hill. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Well, so far, a little to no resistance by the defense on this drive alone. Three passes, three completions, three first downs. They're taking it to him, and it's paying off. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Looking to pass to him. Flush to his right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Sanders' kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. at the line this Philly offense set to go 
Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now Hurts looking to change the play. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. He finds his man complete. It's Watkins. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? It's not a surprise when you read scouting reports and watch tape because you know he's a heck of a player. But he is so difficult to get down in the open field. They just want to get him the ball and let him do his thing. Play action. Here's Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. 63, 63, 63. The slot man in motion right. 63, 63, 63. Hey, 73, 73. Hurts. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. The sack there by Bradley Chubb. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. Throwing on second and long. Hurts. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. A nice pick up there, 19 yards. And they're set up better for third. Someone moved, flag is out, that's going to be five yards. And that'll drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. Well, that's a tough, costly penalty, because now it makes it third and six after the false start. Hurt sets up to throw it. They'll find Swift down in the backfield. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Swift. He is going nowhere in a hurry as he is going to lose yardage here in a big way. Back at the five-yard line now. Second and goal. Hurts completing this one quickly. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Yeah. 
Elliott good with a PAT. And that gives him a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this, well, this is taken in. It's complete. It's a big play there for Miami. 55 yards. So how about this for a change in field position? From inside the 10, here's first down on the other side of the field. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. Back now in Miami. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Ready. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's Ready. second down and seven. Ready. To the left side and taken in by Chosen. Just a gain of a couple there. And it brings up third and five now. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Hey, come on two. Come on two. Come on two. Hey, 21 T8. Hey. Now Tua. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. So here's a first and ten now down inside the 20. Tug of Iloa. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. We'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And the Dolphins are going to have it first and goal, so take this down to about the three. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Collectively great defense. It takes all 11, especially down here toward the goal line. The call comes in, and the call essentially says all 11 have to make a play here. You have to show toughness. We just saw it there. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. He forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. So a good drive with a bad ending, Charles. They move it down the field well. Cannot finish it off, though, as it's intercepted in the end zone. Deflating, that has got to be the word here because they were sharp in moving it down the field, but sometimes you start thinking like a touchdown is a given. And it doesn't always work out that way as we saw there. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. 
Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. On first and ten, it's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now Hurts changing up the play. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. Pushing his way through. And now off to the races, down the right side. Complete to Quez Watkins. A pickup of 44 yards on the play. And an eagle first down. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. On the option to give to Swift here. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. You're not liking the look. They'll change the play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. As the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Third and nine here. Throwing his hurts. He'll get this off to Swift. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. They got the completion, but they didn't get the first down. So you got to think if you're on the defense side of the ball, you're pretty happy with what you just accomplished there. Yeah, guy, like you said, got him out of bounds, stopped the clock, kept him short of the marker. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Hurts to throw. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. A gutsy decision there going for it on fourth, but they got it, and that likely puts an end to this one. Indeed, it was gutsy because there's so many other options they probably could have exercised in that situation, but they bet on themselves, and it paid off. No, no, no. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. So jumping from his free set. Never leave the house without the pack where my...
that. Take an L and try to double back. We ain't doing that. Say she mad, but I know it's cap. I've been through with that. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. I ain't got a but they hands to the ceiling. I ain't palm reading, but I got them in they feelings, yeah. Ain't vanilla ice, but I'm iced out chilling. Was the good guy till they made me the villain. Was gonna get a room, but they gave me a villa. I got games for a center. 20 bands for the dinner. 20 dips in a sprinter. What's a two up, two up, two up, two up? Never been afraid to play my cards. What's a risk to a winner? Barely hang out with these days. What's a lame to a real one? Never leave the house without the pack. Where my d at? Take an L and try to double back. We ain't doing that. Say she mad, but I know it's cap. I've been through with that. Need someone to hype me up. Up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Need someone to hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Hype me up. Never turn my back on my guys when they need me. Gotta get respect for my job. It ain't easy. In a good mental state, and God is the reason. This is plain Jane season. Fresh up off the plane in Japan, I ain't leaving. They say seeing is believing. Well, here's a briefcase with a million dollars even. This all week, no days off. This hard work gon' pay off. I made myself a promise young. I would never work a day job. Put it in the safe. Never know when I'm gon' need that. Came here with my gang. You don't know where your homies at. Gave you a lot of game. You don't owe me back. You say you a boss, gotta show me that.